So I'm gonna start with you, Mark. How did you first hear about this story and then what kind of made you want to kind of pursue it as, as a project that you want to keep? Um, I read it in the New York Times while at the same time I had like five friends sending it to me as it came out knowing that it would be something that was, would be, would turn me on and be interested in. Um, yeah, and that, and that became, you know, then my agents reached out and they said, hey, you know, have you read this article? And I said, like, yes, I have. And they said, well, would you be interested in, in you know, option and material to produce? I was producing, uh, getting into producing more at that time. And I was like, yeah, this is a great story and it has to be told. And it's, you know, it could be popular. It's, you know, it could be, it could be a great, popular, fun, well, you know, horror flick, but um, but a true story. Rob, then, when you found out that Mark was going to be playing you, how did you guys work together in terms of kind of crafting his version of you? Did you guys talk a lot? What was the kind of process that the two of you had? We did. Um, you know, Mark first reached out, and we talked on the phone for quite a while, and and really got you know really came to understand that he was he was doing it for the right reasons and really wanted to get the story out there. And then he came out and met with, with me and with my wife, Sarah, and with the boys. And then we actually spent some time out in West Virginia. So we spent a lot of time together. And I actually got the chance to, to watch a lot of the filming because it occurred, a lot of it, in Cincinnati and some of it even in our offices. So that was a really great experience. And he did a fantastic Thanks. job. Uh, to work then uh, with someone like Todd, because when I saw that he was directing this, I was like, oh, this is probably not the kind of movie that I'm familiar with him. So what made you kind of want to work with him and, and know that he could, like, you know, step up to, to do something like this? Well, I mean, it's a, it's a, <clears throat> so it's it's kind of a genre movie. I mean, it's a whistleblower, All the President's Men, Spotlight, you know, it kind of, it, it has its own little genre niche. Why I wanted Todd to do it was because I knew he would bring like real deep character work into it and a beauty to it and a, and a, and a spaciousness. Uh, I mean, I could see what he would do with it. And, and you know what? He's great with people who are alienated and alone under oppressive systems. I mean, he, he does that better than anyone. I was surprised that anyone didn't see uh, that immediately. Um, and, you know, it took some doing. We're on the phone for a couple hours, I'd say, or an hour. And I think his first response was, I don't really, you know, I, I, he said, I, I kind of do my own thing. So I, I, I know, but, you know, we could always do something else. And, and he's like, well, truth be known, this is, this is my favorite genre. And I was like, yeah, it doesn't surprise me, um, going back to safe. And, um, yeah, it just, it's, it was a stroke of, of inspiration to, to, to go to him. And I'm just such, it's such a gift that he decided to do it. When, when I was watching this film, um, I was kind of interested in, in your drive because here's a situation where everything is going against you and no one's, the results aren't instant and so it took so many years. How did you kind of know innately that this was going to be something that you needed to be a part of for such a long period of time? Because most people would have given up and there's something about your, some, it's, it's within you that, that maybe that voice or what was it that you kind of? Well, I think it was the voice of Wilbur Tennant, you know, saying, look at this, you know, you, when you see this, It'll, it'll make sense, and you'll, you'll see there's a problem here. And when I started digging into all these documents, I was getting the same feeling, you know. This, to me, was obvious, and there was a public health threat. And if we could just get that information out, pe other people, once they see this, they'll get it. Um, and that's what I've been trying to do ever since then, is just get more people to see what's going on in, in hopes that everybody else will see that's a problem that we need to stop. Can I ask one last question about what do you what do you hope people will kind of take away from watching this film? Because I love the idea of community and how like really one person, they need everybody to kind of step up and, you know. I mean, right at this moment in time, we have to think us, not me. And, and I think what the film ultimately is saying is that we have to be part of our world, that we have to be informed, and that we have to stand up for each other, and we have to stand up for our communities. And that we, can't, we can't sit back and expect the government to do it or the scientists to do it, although we need them. 
we have to, we're the ones who have to drive these changes. And, and they're big, these are big problems that need to be addressed. But now's the time to do it. And now we have the information because of people like Rob to, to, to make those changes. You need the information.